again, happy 4th of July to everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm going to cook up some breakfast. I haven't eaten yet today. And I brought some leftover steak, a couple eggs, and some onions. I'm just going to cook up a simple breakfast on the uh, Firebox Nano in a little while. So, yeah, come along. We're just going to chill today. And, uh, yeah. Nice trout on, I think. Haven't really seen it yet. Let's see. Yeah, that's a nice one. Nice trout. Pickerel. It's a big pickerel. Thought it was a nice trout. Oh well. I'll show you. I can see him. You see that? So that was a, I thought that was a nice, another nice trout. This is the same area of the river where I got that brown trout a couple months ago. So I was really optimistic. I thought I hooked another one, but lo and behold, it was, it was a big pickerel. Um, oh well, at least it's something, right? Really not sure if I'm gonna be able to pull over here and eat breakfast or cook breakfast. It's really, with the water level down, it's super thick on the shore here. It's nearly impossible to get off anywhere here. So I'll keep looking, getting hungry. So for anybody that 
hasn't watched my older videos regarding this canoe or my boat here, anybody knew that is. This is a um, Placid Boatworks canoe. Um, this particular model is the Rapid Fire. It's 15 foot in length and um, it's considered a packed boat. It does not have an, a symmetrical hull. We call it an asymmetrical hull. It's essentially a kayak hull with an open top, which really makes it cool for getting in and out. It's just so much easier than a kayak. Um, it's easier to get gear in and out. And it's made out of carbon fiber and Kevlar. And um, it's infused. Um, there's no nuts and bolts in anything. It's all molded and, and uh, seamed together. And it's got a gel coat on the bottom side and I've had this boat now for nearly f oh, almost four and a half five years now about four years and um, it's just awesome for tripping I've been all over the Adirondacks Vermont Maine on several multi-day trips and then just jaunts like today when I'm by myself on the local river catching fish and enjoying outdoors it's just a spectacular investment. Um, Shelly's, my girl's got a, um, the same boat, only it's a smaller, it's called the Spitfire. It's 13 foot length. And her boat, her boat, because she's a small individual, getting her old kayak on and off her car was a real pain in her neck, literally. So her boat, the same material, just two feet shorter than this one, is perfect for her. It only weighs 18 pounds. So that's, it's wonderful. It works out really good for her, getting her boat on and off her car. Uh, this boat, again, it's 15 foot. It's the lightest version they, they produce at Placid Boat Works. It's 22 pounds. So that's outstanding, especially if you need to carry it for any length. Uh, it's just not a, a dreaded thing to do anymore as far as carrying the canoe on small portages or even long portages. But... Yeah, man, super good boats. Um, we went up four and a half years ago about and visited their facility up at Lake Placid, New York. Met the owner, Joe. Super nice guy. We spent a couple nights up there at a local hotel at Lake Placid and we didn't want to rush in and make a bad decision. So we took a whole bunch of boats um, for test paddles, if you will, multiple times. And I kind of knew going in this is what I wanted for because I'd seen other videos on YouTube regarding this particular boat and um, Lo and behold, it's the one I picked. It's just perfect for what I do on multi-day trips or just like this like I said, so Joe the owner was super patient and nice no pressure at all S Couldn't be more accommodating. He was like super nice and I want to uh, give a shout out to Joe at Placid Boat Works for the find for the fine boats um, apparently he was telling us he had an employee or a, a partner years a few years ago that pretty much left with the design that he had that Joe had developed for these boats and he opened up shop up in Canada uh, called Swift Boats essentially the this same design he just left and went up there and opened up shop and it's, it's the same boat he's just selling them as Swift Boats but Joe doesn't have any hard feelings. It's far enough away where it's not a direct competitor sales-wise, so he uh, he said he wasn't really concerned. It was kind of a rotten thing to do, but he really wasn't concerned about it. He's selling a lot of boats as it is, but yeah, they're both great boats. Swift or Placid Boat Works are great, awesome, awesome canoes. And um, yeah, so if you're in the market, I wouldn't hesitate at all recommending one of these boats. Just fantastic. It's made uh, our lives a lot easier as far as, you know, loading, unloading, portaging, carrying the boats around. And I, this thing tracks super. I've been in some pretty high water. Um, you know, white caps on big lakes, Moosehead, Chisuncook up in Maine. And um, this thing tracks perfect. It's perfect, especially with weight towards the bow. It really, really performs well. Um, the seat, it's molded in and there's three separate or at least when we bought these, there was three separate options. The low one, like I have, medium or high, and you can always add on to the low here with a medium seat or, or a high one. 
just so there's different options. You can get spray skirts for this for the bow and the stern. Joe supplies those as well. <clears throat> um, the width of the boat, I don't recall exactly off the top of my head the width of the, the widest part here. I want to say 26 inches. I could be wrong. I think it's 24 and a half, but I'm not sure. Um, super stable. The paddle I'm using or been using is a Werner Kamano or Kameno. This is a 250 centimeter paddle. It works perfect for this boat and me, my my uh, my height anyway. It's a great combination. Um, yeah, so anyway, I don't want to go on too far, but yeah, if you're in the market for a um, pack boat or a lightweight boat, if you're tired of lugging around heavy plastic boats, I would highly recommend Placid Boat Works for sure. And or Swift, if you're in Canada. Although I think you can buy Swift in the US, I'm not sure. I will be bringing this boat up to Lake Placid to see Joe probably next year, year after, I'm not really sure, to um, get a tune-up, if you will. They'll redo the, the gel coat on the bottom. It's a nice service they provide. So we'll go up for a long weekend, drop the boat off, and then pick it up on the way back and <clears throat> be back in business. You can do it yourself, but I'm not real handy with that type of project. So, um, Plus, we've been looking for another reason to go back up to that area anyway. So, <laughs> Yeah. All right, I'm going to get back to fishing.
So I was able to find this sandbar where these two little brooks converge into the main river and uh, cooked up some couple eggs, leftover steak from last night's grilling and some onions and yeah I'm chowing down late breakfast early lunch on this little sandbar. Well guys I'm back on the water obviously and um, I'm gonna paddle on out of here. It's uh, I got some chores to do at home before we go to that barbecue. And um, anyway, thanks for coming along. Always happy to have you come along on these mini adventures, if you will. And happy Fourth of July, everybody. And peace.